trip sessions there. The first session I'm sharing with it, I'm with Tholomel and the Pacho about X sessions and a good presenting to you, including in my West Tower. Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Okay, so I'm talking about this third project, a friend of friend project. It's been kind of going behind the seats since around 2000. And here is with uh, Tim Hudson, really. Here is a W3C rapture on the tip for just kind of or working on that four whole arms templates. But I'm talking about a side project, so it's not my kind of trainers. Uh, it's kind of afraid of. And tell them to Sorry, we're really hard to fit in here. Hurt you, Nanny. Hold it close to your mouth if I. How's the. Yeah, no, I'm bummed. But. Okay, um, friend, friend, project. I'm just not sure if I'm saying the start. How many of you have heard of. XML? <laughs> How many of you have heard of. Uh, oh, yeah. Perspective. How many of you have heard of. How many do I have? I have a very quiet. Lost it, lost it, lost it. How's that? Yeah. Okay, tell me what if I do it again. I didn't kind of quiet. So, Dorit, I'm surprised I saw 125 this hit. What I really want to do in is kind of two movie things at once here. I want to talk a bit about food as technology. Uh, most of his technical characteristics are inherited from its, its use of audio. And it's the use of XML. I want to talk a bit about the social impact, and uh, probably not enough about either to really get into interesting details. So, uh, what is this program project? What can we do with both files? Um, why why do so many people seem to find it interesting? Um, how do the technical and social aspects interrelate, and where are we on to? So, the, the, the basic idea is pretty simple it's um, machine readable home pages. Initially, home pages for people, but also then pages for uh, companies, um, organizations, and I think that uses the web. It's an exploration of the notion of uh, the semantic word, a web of wishy Greek or pages. And it's um experiment in just doing it, really. So, a few years ago, I, the fact, the first print file was my home page, the second photo file was my friendly piece home page. And it's just kind of going from there. Uh, last week I heard at Live Journal we're about to switch on uh, VFX ports. So there's another two many of the pages around to be on the web. So it's just interesting times. The, the two core concepts, I think, with proof are um, this notion of proof files or third profiles, uh, RDF files and leg, and the notion of as a vocabulary. It's a kind of dictionary of terms that you can use to, to say things in third files. So, for third digs you mark up for saying things like, we're talking about the people at the mailboxes and pages, for saying about the person what their workplace phone page is, which is kind of a nerdy way of saying where they work, to the way of saying where they work. So it's quite easy for computers to deal with, so you can run prayers against it to say, yeah, find the webbox or people who work for the place because home page is W3 to all. Um, and then, yeah, the really interesting thing, the fourth is the really interesting thing with a web, the connectivity, that my fourth file has a reference to my friend Lydia's photo file, which is a reference to Ed's, and so on and so on. So you, you can feed these things to Armistead, just the, in the same way the Jewish of our Provostus, uh, sure goes from page to page. But the harvesters are indexing the machine readable associations about the world, rather than just a list of uh, words from human language. Okay. So just to give a quick example, I expect this is eligible to my studio. I can see that. I can see it. It's a bunch of back for brackets. It's some XML. It says, I took this from a, a very nice article in XML that called a little bit of a nice read. It says, there's a person, Peter Parker, the person that's male, has a photo gender property of male, a photo time club, Mr. Uh, just give a name and family name. Give us a cache of Peter Falper's mailer box, which is a kind of sneaky way on. Uh, so, 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 giving us a, a sneaky way of identifying this person in the absence of a finite more innovative file scheme. So, uh, as a person the, with these details, they have a home page, web, or, and they know another person. It's marked up at the bottom here for, say, Peter Pumpkin knows it's in Harry Osborne. Harry Osborne then has such and so a home page. And with respect to Harry, see also. 
this audio file over here. And it's, it's a little bit in bold that, that's really made this an interesting project to me. Unfortunately. Once you've got that, that can pass to for electing and not wishing read the files. So you've got the basis for skipping it all up and pushing it into a database. And what do you get when you do that? This this is one of several um, visualizations and user interfaces that people have built with Perth. Um, and it's going to all get out there, clean around, uh, text and those interface laser. Uh, just to give you a sense of the kind of data we got, people connected to people by you know, a variety of named relationships, people described in a variety of user readable files, and then arbitrary characteristics of those people. And th this is the really fun thing uh, in terms of the, the structure of it, is we didn't end the specification. Nail down once and for all what it is you can say about people. So each of the people describes can say as much or as little about themselves and about their colleagues and friends as they choose to. So um, all we were really trying to do here was um, take a thought experiment and roll it out and see what happens. So what would it be like if machines could read our home pages and then not wanting to wait for uh, artificial intelligence or natural language processing and so we took the approach of dumbing down um, self-descriptions to a level that is a really well suited to machine processing. So the, the next obvious question there is what people do lose when we dump down a kind of subtleties and built on the relationships, the subtleties of self-description into, into a machine friendly for. And th this debate's come up again in the, the social networking discussions uh, where people present themselves through friends to uh, through ill folk, for example. And from a uh, more key perspective, what, what might search engines evolve into as we move from indexing words in a page to indexing the claims around the world? Um, so we're trying to really sneak up on big, big kind of problems with a very simple technology. It's about just a file that you put on your website for a file of it. Uh, someone in stoses from a, a surface on your behalf. I've got some kind of wordy examples here of the kind of things you can say in Firth. So I, I, I can say simplistic um, atomic statements about myself and other people. I can say, I'm Dan, I work at W2C, I know Libby, he worked at NLT, and her focus for a client is blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but yeah, and, uh, and here are the titles and descriptions of all some documents we wrote together. I could say, is it? Here's a photo I use on my homepage, here's a bunch of other photos, and here are the people in those photos. Um, I can use any FIRF extension at all in, in these descriptions. Like, a photo extension in this sense. It's a any other RDF vocabulary that people have found traced for use within the RDF framework. So, maybe something like you've heard of Music Brain, it's for Dovin Tor or Creative Commons. Each of those RDN applications gives you terms that you could fill into these descriptions. So if I want to talk about the rights that in these documents, I use Creative Commons. If I want to talk about music, you can say that yeah, I really don't really like Massive Attack, I use music rights. Uh, we, we try not to do too much in FOF and to come up with an architecture where we could plug in other people's work. So, um, yeah, my, my day job is acronyms. This is the, the acronym view. Uh, Folk uses, uses XML as a data format. It uses RDM as a data model, the set of conventions at the top of XML. It also uses this thing called an OWL, the Web Ontology Language. Both, uh, I've already said it, both OWL and RDA became W3 suit recommendations yesterday, which is. Well, but I'll, I'll, I can't die in that kind of It was so nice to get to say that. It me some, it's been years. Um, so th this is a practical application of the other practical application of, of um, um, the current folks stack defines 50 or so terms for talking about the world or from any approach set of players. And we use our these RDA for the following reasons. RDA uh, guarantees an essential freedom of independent extension. Uh, because we're just trying to people, because people are such interesting, complex, political beasts. There's no way that a single spec, or in that don't you, find out a technique oriented people is really going to ever do a complete job of capturing the things that you want to say to people. So what we're trying to do instead was, was find a way of using RDF to so that other people's um, descriptive concerns could be plugged in there. So RDF guarantees that. It guarantees that a third file can have arbitrary and other um, ways of talking about people in the file. Al provides us something also pretty important. Um, 
algorithms to data motion. If you think about the problem of uh, independent parties scattered around the web trying to describe each other, there is no planet one ed uh, identification system for people. Uh, there's no planet one identification system for companies. But despite that, what, what we need to do is be able to fold data together from multiple sources and uh, figure out why we're talking about the same things. Uh, but I'm getting into how that's really the way you know, what Al gives us a lot of uh, votes off the shelf tools for. Okay. Yeah, quick recap. It's a new kind of web page, it's web page for machines. Uh, we try to echo the freedom and flexibility you have in your own homepage in a machine readable form that you might intuitively think because it's machine readable, it's going to be kind of stilted and stunted in rigid ways, uh, ugly. It's, uh, it's a very low tech approach. It's like RSS in the sense that it's to, in its simplest form, it's just a page you put on the website. And we got quite a long way with just putting pages on websites, but we run into issues that uh, allow us to explore the harder things. So we've been PTP signing these pages, for example, or encrypting them. Um, yeah, so it's a web of files describing people. And that's the big one. So then, I don't have time to get into the nitty gritty of these issues, but the, the kind of things we've run into are the, the need to plan for lying to find for a penalty mischievous. If, if you're enough of the thus uh, friendster about hexters, uh, I don't know how many of you probably this, but on the friendster side, people are creating you know, playful content with characters and they've been deleted with a single true descriptions of the world. And for the universe, we just don't have our control. If you create a further file out there on the web and it describes Peter Parker or Mr. Ben or whatever, I can't delete that file because it's on your web server. So we need we need as an architecture that allowed us to kind of surviving with lies and scribing on our traits. Anyone can say anything about anyone using any arbitrary as if uh, vocabulary. So there are kind of etiquette issues there, privacy and uh, politics issues there. We primarily use the code for self description, but uh, something we're running to on later will address it's use uh, an activism or for example we might be talking about politicians um so if uh, increasingly gets numbered with this social, net social networking domain uh what will we first start on the project a few years back the big social networking site was uh six degrees last year the session networking site was in you know, a friendster and last week it was all folks and uh he knows what it would be in six months' time. But the kind of driving ethic that I'm for, and a lot of the semantic web work is the sets of implement the data back, they want control of the data, they want to be able to migrate it between hosting sites to host all that's on it. Um, but can't look one. No, good thing. Okay, now, my, a good friend of mine was copying and pasting a profile from friends to into Ocar and Mars Week. <laughs> like, it's going to be an outright at three years. Uh, these sites, they also partially destroying the world and present it as a full description of the world. So, uh, yeah, he's on friends, she's on Orca. They don't show in each other's friends lists, but that's the moment just wrong. It is one world and we kind of stumble towards describing it. We, we still need to import and export between these sites. Um, the way FOF was designed, it gives you the basics for doing that. What we don't have in FOF is the representation of yeah, the nitty gritty uh, ratings and profiles and fan characteristics that these sites use. You don't even dating a vocabulary. I've kind of scared about adding one, but I'm kind of sure I'll have to finish it. Mm. Okay, so where are we up to this day? There's, I, sh I should be coming with the steps. There's a growing number of um, self-hosted Fokomatic generated files. Fokomatic is a simple JavaScript uh, interface go. You know, just ramping yourself and the feature friends. If you see these little uh, um, and uh, I was going to show you the faith icons. If you see these funny little third faces on the website, it links to a third file. A surprising number of it. And people have gone to the third matter site, created the self description, a couple of visits to their website. Um, on top of that, there's an increasing number of services generated for it. So, in Catamilla, uh, which is a business networking site in the UK, Tidepad and Coco Lock, which is the hosted version of the whole site, they both uh, produce axiom for descriptions. Uh, there's you know, some interesting characteristics of what they've done there and 
Excuse my bleeping so bad. Uh, live journal has last week I forgot to switch on to my hand for for funnels. And we'll hear later in our tribe. Um it's uh getting it takes a it's almost easy. Yep. A few lines of Perl code and sync rays two two mil two million or third descriptions in the world. Can sharing the data is kind of an interesting problem. And again, this is something that distinguishes the approach we've taken from the approach uh, the monolithic uh, aggregator science. So you see both uh, user interfaces that use HTML or use SPG for kind of zooming around the web to the people. Ed's going to talk about text mode interfaces too. It's uh, it's a very interesting data set. There's a lot of it out there. There's a lot of it's public, and it's a very multiple web. It's, it's under no just control. You don't have to wait for the hosting site to have some of these range based design and seek to do the job or a fine job yourself. Uh, the other thing is folk terminology. The, the built this and my notion language that we defined in the paper spec are being used in other audio uh, data formats. This, they describe people adequately enough and the idea of design is um, it, it tries to have a division of labor so that you don't achieve with fit things. If you're creating an idea based data format, say Core or Calendar Exchange, and you want to talk about people, you can just plug in Perk if you don't need to steal the kettle. And there's a couple more styles of audio in Firth. There's a couple of styles of social networking science. And we're trying to architect Firth to be neutral between them, though I think there's some cultural bias to the first crowd towards one of them. So you, you can be very explicit in the first part. I could say, Ed's my friend, but I could say, Ed's my bestest friend. I could say, Ed's my Russian nemesis. I could plug in any set of yeah. interpersonal relationships that someone else out there decides to make available. Uh, there's a very kind of articulated uh, social networking site style of, of talking about sociality. There's also um, my biases lean this way and more kind of implicit evidence-based approach. So we're talking about um, Liam and I work for the same organization, or Libby and I went to the same school, or to the school that the document, uh, and so on and so on. So you, you described facts about the world, which don't be associated with them, uh, kind of implicit information about your the relationships to someone. And there's quite a lot of work in the first crowd on image metadata. I, I think because of this bias, there is trying to to humanize the represent humanize the machine representation of its personal relationships. So we talk about our co depiction in Ed and I are in the same photo. Um, a lot of that stuff it's processed in the, by machines, but you have to look at the picture to get the point. Uh, applications we're gonna hear about in more detail in the lightning sessions, but there's a couple of favorites I have the kind of connection of this stuff to locality. So have the ability to scan my room and see is there or able to see all of this other application for the thing that uses rendezvous uh, to, to get the profiles, to get the web logs, to get the most recent web log articles you've written by people who are within in a grid. Uh, if you've ever sat with Station or are wandering around town, I'm not sure who all these people are, but I don't want to task that it's this kind of interesting application there. Um, the Anxiebus side of things is like more what people are saying, I think there's a whole lot of separate talk there. But why the Qt apps is a data set taken from the real .net, which describes webs of um, the connection between boards of directors in the USA. Uh, what's to mention, Dean McCurry did the database of activists on the LDN campaign. Uh, there was only a few about data sets, so you can scoop that up and see connections and like, some people and collaborators there. Uh, people ask what FIPS for, and it's I, I, I can get try and use cases so that start your cheesy business travel use case. It was I'm a vegetarian. I was big episode of Tele Apple, uh, Tele Islands. I'm a vegetarian, and it's you should be able to check in have the Apple and have their machine go your homepage and go, hey, you, you appear to be a vegetarian, but we don't have a special meal for this is for you. Is there something like that? But that, that's not rock the science. Uh, but based on what the straightforward is data plot, any third final, it's just some idea. If it just contains statements about the world, whatever you might want to use that out of the That's why I thought that was a, a vegetarian thing. 
as Cybertron when that is tax, but when I'm here all day, so that's what folks know. So it'll be insane for if you ask of flow of how much the data, what even leave up data is, it's a whole other topic. Right, then. Well, when you try to place the answer to your phone, you can take it here. So, just to recap, Flame is designed really to be a, a free for platform. And if you think back to the home page, your home page is blank slate page. You can write what you like there. That only tells you what you can write. That only tells you which words you can use. Uh, we're trying to reproduce that from machines. It's out of control by design. We don't want to say what words you can use. We don't want to say where it's going to be hosted. Uh, we don't want original data. I think that the technical machinery after a few years by a community of communities like this. Um, reason to be there, there are out in crawlers, there are out in data stores, there are query systems. Um, there's no single way that you deploy a phone when we're really fitting away around the options here, whether it's hosted, whether it's um, exported for something like live draw. We're on the borders of going main street. You know, if you like to co separate us from the being made into these founders, I think it's kind of scary because although they can put the technological aspects sorted, what we don't really have is a sense of the legal or privacy the etiquette issues. Uh, within the closure world or say Orco, you get this awkwardness of someone saying they're a fan of you, someone saying they're um, you full star your sex in us. And it's, it's, it's kind of unsettling here for the people. It's, it's been unsettling for people to see the uh, marital stimulus and sexual biases of the business colleagues. Uh, it's been within the scope of a particular site. And what happens when we take out, we scale it to the web, we make it possible for you to say that I'm anyone hidden to me and all that kind of thing. So, we'll stop it any time to talk about it. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty much it. So, if you can take questions now, you have 10 minutes from it, and I am now on next session. Questions? Oh, Ben, we'll have to let you come a little bit of an ad hoc main tree of the stands of thousands of individuals. Organization close phone, will you know, the audience will be there. Call phone. It's some big like list. What is that? One guy. It's awesome. And I actually, you know, in the league, uh, we just switched up the Bobazilla. So it, it's, it has more in common with the kind of open source approach and less in common with uh, my day job, which is follow standardization. I think we're starting to feel it needs a bit more structure. I mean, it needs at least weekly or four tiny meetings, probably at NRC, so we didn't disenfranchise people. No. And without the artist flying aside, we're working on a lot later, I think. And so we'll see an IRC is based on an IKK screenshot in SVG interface. There's also the browsing it as web based. Mm -hmm. There's also the sense of food as a format that you tunnel data through and then turn it back into other formats. So there's a converter somewhere for Fove to BCAR. Yeah, back into BCAR to convert into address posts and such. And I think that's a very promising route. Can you describe it as hosting a privacy and stand and for people to scrape him over to get your interface? Do you leave it as shoes? Just to try to blood either you killed that you said it's the thing. I'll go about Yeah. Um, what, one of the earlier changes we made in this spec was we came up with a convention for identifying people by their mail books, by their homepage, by buying your property that you need to pick them out. And the earlier notations assumed mail books. And feedback got on that the Finton one that mail books is going around in public. So we've been using caches of mail books. But that that's really just typically honest but in terms of these issues. I can tell you briefly the way I'm I think Live Journal planning to roll this out. On Live Journal they have an HTML page that's public about each of the users. And there's privacy policy and the opt-in to making different basically description available. And in fact, from the few years, uh, there will be an RDF version and a photo with the echoes of everything that the HTML version says. And that single opt-in is on since both the HTML and the RDF views. Whether that washes out the public, or events from there, whether that's the right thing to do, I don't know. Um, <coughs> yeah, certainly there's something to whisper else to for the code, um, I mean, look, Josh, you know, it's a subscribe with the verification. Easy you are, I uh, keep following this. So, if it have a pro, that wasn't a duality, and you're the one in the case, some idiot, some governmentation, and you can burst on 
<laughs> You're so macaroni out. What will this so when my people at the work hard have some dirt taking process? See, it's feasible, but the only thing we've been doing in my area is tend to be more PGP oriented, so we've been taking a free file and um, you know, I'm more often signing it rather than printing it, but also signing it too. That's the one we're going to see. Um, yep. But one, they're testing comments. The Howard, Karen of Sending Town, in a private Zoom page, who still doesn't speak to any of the ton of corporate points dropping wrong. So if this intent is to be the guy war, my discretion is in our Christian art that gives me the post shit. She's called Walter Content, called and truly. Like Quax, and a voila, if you want to view a world, turn for nature. Well, okay, so whether or not turtles are actually strong on post snorts, they say they are. There's a world where research that's been done in key AI. There's no deal with dropping a third taste. And a deal with parasites and something else. A lot of people think, you know, Tom Ford was this about, it's a DNA, yes, these big utility or, you know, what are certifications that he did or say, since, and like, but there's science, it's can know it here. If the zipper stress that it caused work. Um, and toolmakers, uh, him needs to come on the pairs over this. With people in boosting expanded as this stuff is really bad in your brain. Yeah, and that, that's why some of us have been using PGP. There's a big way to turn on PGP too. But if, if you want to go and use the other crypto technologies, it's, it's on that way. Yeah, it does. Then my my thousand what I do is help to every entrepreneur to use the technology and provide those services on Tosh, whether there is superiorly you may trust through that conversation. It's still with stuff. He just get in back you. I blocked that didn't. Oh, so this comes so the top part of the grab a visit here to was hot or rattle taste sweet one friend with the round that's if I have some and I don't buy add that's the button and up in space. But the perfect way of work kind of things like servers and internet and it's liner mod is next to the kids. Instead um one thing I have that's rolls on um Said in the Lukai server, like the sub lord, we don't want it. You see, I'll cut over the little difference where I'm pretending Harry and head of a grand tour. Fuck, find fine, I'll do work. Well, I'm maybe still need to go work right if I am in. Who must go wait and do a lot of stuff and that? So I can only go to you, Jules, guys. Away to do this titter, gee. Uh, I have a hand for pass that's been glowy. I'm gonna bruise them, trying. The same to a bit, sis. I am. And uh, I understand that, see, that's a misconception of the focus. Well, there's a raptor king now, the men do not use the source and server, the rudder, of when the patient service declared. That's not what's in the board called that in suffering direct invitation of his right intuition. But when you read the side, can't be wide Viewers, and that's kind of like your billion origin. It's something you use in its standard format of the video I read. And the letter I read you one for the day with the one do with it as you can. If that did not maintain as it builds some values around which is some lacking of authentic to the time, maybe it has to solicit interest of 20 years, 80 years, 30 years. It's just the four by open and two right teeth. Is there a standard way to add this list in a minimum of key elites? Well, I just was in comes if the illness in this term to be in minutes in the next month, and it's it. But after term up, and I'm my first dust jam. Oh, yeah, you're running out of cheap time. The look at the piles is here at the clean old day, Captain Warren Alf, but it's probably interval and then there's those. Is there a physio to add the way we can find in eyes of our heads or four? Or then we'll see those on the feed, we'll lead you out of stand. Or if you want to know what it is. We're going to wish only about, uh, we got like 10 minutes from Ed here on the purple. And my like so sessions okay we'll see how and more well this goes i'm gonna to have to sit down because i need to um work the keyboard so if i disappear from view i do apologize so first part is um kind of a fun toy i wrote a year and a half ago now um it's been crossing for a while and then i pick it up again which is to play with um the faux files and the idea was that because um you know, a lot of the people sat on an IRC channel. Well, could we make an IRC bot that kind of helped the community a bit? It was a, a bit of a toy. And it also turns out that when uh, the when you're you're playing 
with new stuff that uh, a conversational interface a text-based interface is often a good way of uh, starting out and it can be quite expressive so let me see what i wrote um so okay it, it, it was a toy but also the kind of the uh, the rationale for this is that you're fully strangers uh, in the chat rooms and forums uh, particularly like to know why they why the layer just going a bit of provide a bit of context on them so they're not just this um ft ft9 and in particularly in like ilsc and in various places people hide behind behind nicks and so that you know it's probably a bit more information rather than just googling um on some random string that might not turn turn up anything um i also was using folkwart as a platform to experiment with some of the gnarlier issues in Fof. One of which is, well, I described myself uh, and the file, and you described the other file, and that described me the file. How do we make sure all those descriptions resolve to the same person? Um, then talk about when we use identifying properties like mailbox and so on. Um, <laughs> and that turns out to be computationally non trivial. Um, so, by the photo plot, there's a kind of experiment in those sort of things. And also, in, in some degree, our uh, trust metric on the things you're, you're reading now trust is a horrible thing um to think about and i, I know expert but i've got a certain way to at least providing a human with information which then might make trust based decisions okay so this is practically all demo um i'd have brain like fun bot so if you're um downloading video because I'm making a isn't it making a really slatter you could call us while we interact with the bot otherwise we could be waiting a long time um so what Fofbot does is that I start from the alpha my own Fof file which says I know a bunch of people and uh, see also their Fof files so about that oh, let's get that up and how long you can see that hopefully you're already so and that's with a very basic thing about what my name is. Now what it's done is, is crawled all this information and packed it all into a database and now it's able to answer queries. So this is Ed's name is Ed Dunmill, call them to Dave Baker, Ed Dunmill, James Heather, Jason Dow, Scatter L, G, and other sources. So all these people have referenced me and their profile said that yes, they know my NRC nickname is Ed. Um, well, they know my mail works rather. And also, that uh, my name is at Dump. So, based on sort of several sources, she might find us a reasonable fact to trust her. They, they want the entire right. Um, I'll talk for a little while about how what these names are things. So, this is all the time. Um, uh, I think we're working it. <laughs> okay, so another thing we can do. Dan referenced briefly about um, annotation of photographs. And uh, a lot of people have annotated, um, fake annotation to their photo albums with RDX. At one point, I wrote a Flugit or um, a PHP Gatwick program, which kind of automatically generates a bunch of profiles. So I can ask for a picture of me, and um, it's all general, I'll sort of say to me. It's going on. It's on a kind of like combo side. <laughs> and uh, well, so I guess it says me. Um, I'm a lot of time with two of my friends that are kind of sonic using that for Birmingham. So, then go on uh, fun the down tights. I don't interested. This is my um, kind of go one further and look for what them saying code of fictions so I can find out um, if I was pictured with a state by head. Um, and I think I was. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so here we are. Uh, okay, I have to see it. I'm not enough. And that's it. So I can show him so where I was uh, having fun. Um, <laughs> but you see how exciting. That's not a big one. Five gun matting cable there's. Okay. There are sort of some other slightly exciting things you can do often just time and trivial properties but i mean this is basically PMAS a huge uh, thing but we can find out um 
what I actually contribute to instantly uh, put into the mix. And I did that because I actually signed there. So all these URLs here are faux files that um, it's fine and good attribute to me. Um, on the on the kind of um, fun dating side of things, Fife has a fun problem of uh, Mayans predict personality to type, which I guess then is a slightly popular guy who um, was camping his form. Um, so I like um, whoops, asked Fife Bob about how well um, say Dam and Iron Man work together, and what I don't, I just I just. Uh, uh, some some love I'll know about how well these uh, as an entity work together. Uh, did, if it ever responds, um, it will set up itself. So what's going on when I'm actually typing in um, this nickname here? Is it knows it's looking through the IRC mix that it is about, and um, it's resulting it to a, a unique person, which is me. So here's this: Dan Brick and Edmund must learn a lot from each other, and, and uh, I don't think that's the case. So I think that's it for demo of Landis for now. So I'm running out of uh, bit of time. There are quite a few other fun things that it can do. Um, but I want to talk about sort of inside what's going on. So the first thing is um, how we're resolving these individual files uh, all to one. This is called what we call sort of radical smushing or takes emerging, where we have a lot of things that have a shared property in Connell and the the program essentially merges them, which is a big computational thing with both. If you're gonna be a big crawler at the situation. So so I've already, we've already found that, you know, it's quite a stress test for our dead bin base to try and crawl all the photo duration in the web. And if you're ever gonna it's gonna take someone with the resources of, of Google um to do this on the kind of and I think on a you know, whereby base and source of stuff gets out. Um, I'm took what I've, I've moved actually in my web experiments away from this aspect of trying to crawl the entire phone where it was all meant to one. And um, as now tried to nibble at islands of phone data nearby that are, are um, useful to me. So the other, I suppose there is you sort of problems tracking, which is obviously in the web where anyone could describe anything, problems is actually, uh, starts to kind of very important. So as I said, it is a picture of according to this person, this person, this person, this person. What I've done is if you train FOFI and you create a digital signature using FGP and FOFI refine it, then um, it takes the ID out of the digital signature and says, well, that's that's some proof of your, your authorship. It's not really proof of anything apart from uh, your authorship, and that's presuming that the police have licked, you know, put a gun to your head and say sign this file, or anybody else uh, is otherwise extorted you. So, you know, there are lots of problems with uh, trusting digital signatures and so on. Um, this is just the first, the first step. I know it's a hairy area, but at least have you know made some way towards it. The other thing that Fofop not support is it has its own P2P keys. So if you're in a community and you only want people in that community to know um, certain bits in your data, for instance, for part, there's my uh, phone numbers, but in general, the will of health gather them, then you encrypt that key uh, for them in memory standard. <laughs> okay, so thank you for listening to this. This is just the URL of our uh, for the bot, I hope that really works. Um, <laughs> you can go to the IRC channel on, in uh, the Toy Fire C channel on Freenode and have a chat to the bot. It doesn't do much to excite him, but um, the code is actually a very end of the video. Like, it's a client that's offering her fighting. Mm -hmm. Easy there. Sorry, does anyone have any questions on phone problem, particular or sort of hacking? I've been shown over pool pack in a few minutes, uh, which is a lot of more fun. I filmed off of the session because um, 5.15 got lightning talks and it's like in stage. Uh, we've got Mark Cancer, Joe Walsh, Dan Safari, Eric Sigler, Kevin Brady, and then Omar Tina on our I'm sorry, Dad, you have to cart sword. Babs, run the game. I'm so ready to get my easy thing, Jack.
Evet, sizin bir şey oynayın. Ya, koskun ya, yani. Şey kazanmak zorunda bir şey var, sabır yedik ya. Böyle bir nasıl tercih açıyor. Kesinlikle, ben de hani, sen söyleyeceğim. Ben de 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 söyleyece